we got a major update on wb and what they're doing and what they're doing is dropping people to try to make some profits ahead of a major financial loss by the end of the year so in a shocking turn of events they've dropped their tv golden boy yes greg berlanti the man that they've had in their pocket who engineered the arrowverse is being dropped <laughs> Greg Berlanti has been working in the TV space for the better part of the last two decades, and he's done quite a lot when it comes to DC. Not only did he get his start on Green Lantern Emerald Knight, which was an animated offering, and then moved on to Green Lantern quickly, the film, he then really rose to popularity and prominence with WB and, you know, our style of fans of comic book stuff when it came to Arrow, when it came to The Flash. Batwoman, Stargirl, Doom Patrol, um, all those shows, right? And a ton of other CW offerings. Like, we are talking about 15-plus shows he's been involved with with this studio and more or less made a name for himself there. He, of course, has a bunch of upcoming projects that are still in post-production or had to be put on a standstill. But it looks like WB does not need his services anymore as he has been dropped. Now, this is also interesting because he's attached to Booster Gold, or at least one in-production version of Booster Gold. We don't know if it's the James Gunn one or not, but it would make sense if it was. Again, who really knows? Whatever the case is, I think this is really telling. They are dropping a guy who at one point was making them all the money as part of live-action DC over the actual film offering side. Remember... When Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad and all that was hitting, they were still losing money. But over on the CW side, they were making a billion in profit in the quarters. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. But again, I get it kind of from their perspective. They, I think, want to move on. They want to downsize. They want to pull a Disney. Only put out content that's going to be high earning. And anything otherwise is not an option. And Greg Berlanti... Look at the Arrowverse, produces a lot of stuff that's all over the place and a lot of it kind of the same, right? It's like the same episode over and over for all these TV shows he was on. So I kind of get that perspective, but to me, this is still wild. Like, this is one of their biggest names attached to WB for the last 10 years plus, and he's going to be gone. Um, quite shocking. <laughs>